here we are. We've got seven antlers here. We're going to make an antler chandelier today for you. These things retail for a hideous amount of money. So that will work like that. See, those would look better being, I think, with the points out. Hi. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on a five stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Let's get making. What? I don't know, mate. It's just I like, like that. I thought yeah. you'd done a good job. Let's try this then. Let's try the way that you think. So that one's that way. That one would be. I prefer that. Most of them look shit to me. Those really? Look at. Why? The bottom bit, perfect. This bit here just goes to shit. Well, then why don't you try twisting it around and trying the points on different points? Well, what about that then? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm into that. I'm into that. Now try and interweave that up here as well. But, so maybe go. Oh! Oh! Is that it? That's it. That is it. I think if you walk around that, that looks even. So we've got that, we'll get them pinned and then we've got a little bit of... Well, you know, if we get... Dirty shed of a helper in Matthew Bell. So yeah, it's just a case of now pinning them together. We just need to get that. The problem is, I need something up there. But like if we can do away with that, but then how are we going to attach the chain to this? Without getting into like a day of forging. It's going to be this chain uh, finished in the forge. So it's quite nice, you know, antique looking chain. Uh, which will look really good when it's kind of wire brushed and polished up. But how do we attach that to the, it's no good leaving those on, they'll look like a turd. How do we attach that to that? Hi, and welcome to the fun. This isn't what it's gonna look like, but we're gonna have a ring here with some chain attached to it going up to kind of a trace hook. You've seen us make trace hooks, I'm not gonna go into that anymore. Um, so what we need to do now is just decide how we're gonna pin these in. And I think each of these tines wants to be pinned in in one or two places. That was one there. And then there's another root there, but I don't think I'll get the drill in there. And then we're going to take it outside and have another little walk around and a look, eh? Because that's the only real way that you can ever tell if you've got something right is what it looks like, isn't it? So let's take it outside.
<laughs> That's going to be crazy. Oh, I feel sick. So I think that ring might just, if we're really lucky, fit somewhere in here, underneath some of this to catch it. You know, the ring there. Yeah. So I think what we need to do is make up the ring. Okay. We'll go over to the workshop. Now we do, do we use this? I'm just gonna very, Tentatively, try and make a circle. Doesn't need to be that tight. Bit of cold forging, eh, Uncle Mark? Did you think you'd be doing that today? I ain't doing anything. Mm -hmm. Pull that back onto something like. I actually think this is it. And again, it's I mean it's scrappy old stuff, but say it's scrappy old stuff, under all this rust, it's still raw iron or steel. So it's not that scrappy, it's like timber that's been sat. People think it's rubbish, but right under the surface it's still the same timber it was. So we're almost there with a circle. We're almost there with a circle. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's a good one, I'm proud of that. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we will cut through that. Uh, so I want that off there. It'd be nice if we could have done this kind of hot in the forge but this won't fit in my forge so we're just gonna have to make the best of it. It's hoopy. It's a poopy hoop. <laughs> a lot of people might be asking at this point why are we using such a scrappy piece of uh, metal? Well, this style of uh, light has been made for quite some time. So what we're trying to do here is make this look like it's an antique. So obviously this piece of steel has got loads and loads of character and hopefully will work really well for us. You're happy with that, aren't you? I'm not I'm not overly not overly pissed off with it, Mark. <laughs> Toing and throwing. So what we're gonna do is chop a little section out. That's us there, isn't it? So we almost need to close that up after it's on here. What is 360 divided? 120. 120. 120 there. 240. 240 there. Get rid of that.
Well, that means you could adjust it. Just taking those mole grips. So what do we do to take this into something that we can actually get away with calling furniture quality, um, you know, furniture quality item? This is this is essentially scrap. Um, and also, have a little look at this. I mean, that this is one of those univer or spinning links. And you can see there's a bit of movement there, but can you imagine trying to tidy that up on a wire wire wheel? Probably take you an hour, and you'd still get nowhere. I mean, in fact. Oh crap, I've just broken it so that one works, but um, so well, can't really say imagine can we? We need to actually show you guys okay. It's an aeroplane overhead. Or There's an aeroplane. Show the aeroplane and then it makes sense. And then it's all alright. Yeah, it? it's all alright. Yeah, some genius told us that didn't he? Yeah. We've got our three bits of chain which we need for the job. This is all extras, guys. We're going to clean up these two universal links. This Hold one, them out then. You're moving too fast for me. This one here, totally seized up. Look at that one. This one we're going to give the same treatment. This one does actually, it already kind of works. But we're going to give this one the same treatment, bring this back to life. What? Throw it... Throw it into the forge. Did you throw it into the forge? Yeah. I'd like to ideally do the same thing with this, but this won't fit into the forge, so we're going to give it a quick wire brush. Whoa. That forge is roaring away like a good... Good? Oh yeah, that's all the rust burning off. So what we've done, there's our, that's our chain, we bring it up to red hot, we'll cool that off, we'll just pop that there. So you can see already what it's done, is it gives it, it gives it that forge finish, but we're not finished there. Um, what do we do with this Al? I don't know Mark, I'll show you though. So, uh, Semi-useful, really useful. There we go. So on the th on the third mark, leave that one there. What I want you to do now is, after I've done that, I just want you to put a massive graphic going times three, times three. Why? Because we've got three of them to do, and it would look really mint. So what do we do? Stick it in there. Look at that. Look how easy all that rust just evaporates. That was our rust rusted link. Back to being a useful piece of kit. See now the rust has got that purple look to it. It's not like rust coloured anymore, it's like purple. Wow, but what do you do to that to make it look amazing? Well, I've kind of spoiled the surprise already. It's this guy. Uh, okay, so we start with this. Seized up. Nothing going on there. Can't move that one. After it's been in the forge, it takes nothing to free it up, so we freed it up. And then as a final procedure, wire brushed. Now look at that. Look at all the, all the indentations and all the kind of rust the kind of surface rust that's left that lovely patina and it catches the light in a really specific way that kind of modern chain wouldn't do or a piece of chain that was all gleaming with galvo on it and all that stuff um, and it, it just looks the part doesn't it so you know you saw us with our rusty old piece of crud uh, ring all of a sudden that whole thing is coming together um, to start looking like exactly what we want it to look like I'm kind of wondering if we might even fit a universal link up there. 
But before then, what we've got to do, what we've got, what we've done to this one, we've got to do to these two. And then I want you to go times three. So I'll, I'll do that, and then you go oh, times three. It'd be amazing. Let's just go on these. Okay, you can do your filming. I'm going to do my wire brushing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we at Dirty Shed like to offer things up, don't we? So shall we go and have a look? It's under that one too, wasn't it? Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. has entered all stand Oi up the party king you bastard <laughs> King of the Shed oh, look he's run out of talky steam talky steam I, I think he needs another cough cough I was gonna say I think it might be coffee time but I think I might just angrily do this <laughs> before coffee time okay so what we'll do is we'll put the chain on post post the event no matter which way we do this that is the best one to stretch it around because i think it is the smallest goes on and it, we want it to sit like that and again we need to come all the way around to here yeah yeah I do know that mark do you sorry buddy <laughs> I am the one that's making this shit I don't know if you noticed me making it <laughs> yeah yeah that gives us some element of adjustability because this might hang in one one plane really well and in another plane really shitly and it just gives us that ability to kind of like move that there move that there you know what i mean because it might be that all of these there's still a little bit of tweaky tweaky bang bang oh, for fucking hell fire Let's get this done. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what Unos. Ready? Yep. Okay, you're in the way now. Are you talking to me? No. You're never in the way. You're the film capturing guy. What's your name again? Camera boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you named me? Yeah. You created me? <laughs> I named you. You named me? You created me? In a way, I wanted better, but... Yeah, I know I'm a constant <laughs> disappointment, but... Tough shit.
can just tell it's such a piece of shit welder this. Uh, okay, Ooh, smell it, smell it here. So you're not riveting those to anything else at the top, that's it? That's going to be it for now and then we'll probably go around when it's all in situ. But I'm like, I don't think we need to mess about. No. Uh, I think so, it's great mate. Yeah, of course. I think you've done a, a supreme job today mate. Thanks dude. That means nothing to me. I, I take it all back. I mean the thing about You're a problem. useless dump. <laughs> That's probably more realistic <laughs> and I respect you more for saying it. Um, the, uh, this, this project's been around kind of so I've made this in my head a thousand times and that's what I think when you have a project you know client wants you to rush it you know take a moment for God's sake just take a moment ready yeah I've heard something, and I don't know if this is true or not, that you can actually heat the horn up and you can move it. You can bend it. Oh. But I don't know how we'd do that without kind of risking setting it on fire. So, possibly like that one. And just see what it hangs like. Is that heavy? It is quite heavy actually, but at least it's hanging. Uh, okay, right. Let us go and have a little look. So what, what, what are we looking at, or what am I looking at, as I'm looking at this now, and looking at you, there, whilst I'm here looking, Yeah. it hangs nicely, it doesn't seem like it's doing this, you know, or twisting to one side, it seems, you know, we've got all the tines kind of coming out, yeah, you know, that's worked really well, that hoop's worked really well, I love that contrast with the steel and the, the kind of, um, the antlers. Uh, yeah, pleased with it. Anything else to do today? Well, uh, yeah, we've got this one that we're going to just redo. So what you can see is in moving, can you see how we've kind of missed that? We've missed that by five mil. So that needs chopping off and redoing. So I think if we firm this up by attaching that one there and that one there. So we're going to put two more rivets in it okay. uh, and then make our alterations. Take that off there. Yeah. yeah.
Right, what I suggest we do is pop outside and hang it. See what that looks like, shall we? Say again. We're going to pop outside and hang it. Mm. With a bit more passion. We're going to pop outside and hang it. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate to plot my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga. I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top. With bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal. Right? So, Al, what have you done to these since you lost them? Hey, guys. Is that in? Yeah. Next. Uh, we fabricated these bits to hang them. Lacquered, lacquered those as well. So not a great deal actually. We've obviously put the second one together which is slightly smaller. Um, second everyone, there we go. Right, that's it now. Okay, thank you. So where are we? We're high here, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Just, that should sit on there. That, that will move. It's sitting better now, more level. Yeah. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? No, look, it's everything, you've achieved everything I thought it was going to look like. Oh, good. I like oh, to over-promise and under-deliver, yeah. so that's a bit of a... Shit, you've done a good job. <laughs> Give us a sec, let me just find, uh, let me just find where is that? You've just been gored. Okay, let me just, that'll do.